Hello guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we will work on updating the user personal details like name, address information and so on. And this is going to be very similar to the feature where we updated the user description. I mean, here also we will open the form to update users personal information in the bootstrap model using turbo stream request and then we will update it. I mean, we will save the updated information to the database using the turbo stream format. By the way, you might think that why we are doing this. So we are doing this to solid our hands with turbo stream and the more you repeat the similar steps the more you become good in those stuff okay so let's start working on this feature first come to the members controller and there we need to define couple of methods for edit and update the user's personal information just like we did for editing the user description so open the members controller okay so switch to the project directory and open it in some text editor and now come to the members controller okay here you can see that we added edit description and update description method so just like this we need to add edit personal details and edit update personal details okay so first uh, let's uh, wrap the words okay and here we can just copy this and then define this method here and make this as edit personal details okay and uh, just like this uh, define an empty method for update personal details okay and save the file and just like the description we will only allow current users to update their personal details okay so we need to force authentication here as well so let's add both the action names into the before action filter okay so just copy this edit personal details and update personal details and edit here okay so we can just paste it here and paste it again and change this edit to update okay so now whenever user want to update their personal details he must be signed in okay and after this let's define the routes for these actions so come to the routes.rb so first save the members controller and open the routes.rb okay and here uh, we also need to replicate the route for edit and update personal details okay so just copy both the routes for get and patch okay and paste it below and here you just need to replace this description with personal details okay so these are the routes for our uh, routes for editing and updating the personal details of the user okay and then come to the show.html.trb of app views members okay why because just like the member description we need to add an id to a dom element within that we are displaying the user personal details like image name profile title and address information okay so open the show.html.trb okay so here you can see that we are displaying these personal details into the card element okay so we you can add the id to this card element okay so just here with the card we can add an id attribute and provide its value like member personal details okay and save this now we need to replace this card via a partial file okay so create a partial with name member personal details dot html dot trb into app views members and there we will use this card okay so first create a new partial into the app views members okay and name this partial as member personal details dot html dot trb okay and now what we can do we can just copy this card element okay so just copy this card element not copy even you can cut this card element and we will render the partial here so cut this here from here and replace this within the or paste this within the member personal details partial okay and save this and but before saving you can replace all the at the rate signs from here because now we are not using at the rate instead we will pass local as username here or as a user here okay so what we can do here so we can just render this partial here so render and provide the partial name that is member personal details okay and then provide the locals so local provide as user and then at the rate user okay now save this file and come to the show page okay so you can see that we will be able to we will still be able to see the personal details of user in the card element after rendering this partial okay now 
after doing this uh, after rendering these personal details through the partial we need to implement the form partial for editing the user personal details for example if you click on the pencil icon for this about field you will see that we are rendering the form into the bootstrap model so now we need to do the same thing for rendering the form for uh, uh, editing users personal details so first we need to create a partial into the app views members directory again and name this partial as personal info model dot html dot trv okay so just create a new partial here and name this as personal info model dot html dot erb okay and into this partial we can simply use the description model code so open the description model partial and copy everything from here and paste into the personal info model partial okay so just open this description model partial copy everything from here and paste this within the personal info model okay and here we just need to change our form and the model title okay so first change the model title here so what we can do here rather than edit your description we can add edit your personal details sorry not uh, underscore you can simply add a space here okay so edit your personal details okay and now we need to change something into form okay so we can keep the model as current user because we are editing the form personal details of the current user so we can keep the form with model current user as it is we just need to change our url okay then that we define like this update member personal details okay so what we can do here update member personal details and we can paste this url into the form okay so you can just do this do like this okay so now whenever you submit this form this form will be uh, sent to the update member personal details uh, action of the members controller okay and now in this form we need to add form fields for uh, updating the users personal details like uh, their name uh, city state country pin code and profile title okay so first what we can do here we can add a row class into this so div form group row and remove this label and this field as well okay and now what we need to do we need to use div class call lg6 and copy this again and here into this what we need to do form dot label and add first name and add a class that is mb3 and mt2 okay sorry yeah mt3 you can keep it like this and now add the form text field for updating the first name okay so form dot text field here you can provide first name okay and then class form control and then value that is current user dot name sorry first name because we don't have uh, the name attribute we have name method okay so we will use current user dot first name as value okay and now copy both these into the second call lg6 and into this div replace the first name with the last name okay okay save this and now we need to create another division with form group row so just copy this call lg12 and we will now update the address information like city state country so we need to add fields for those attributes okay so here you can replace it like let's say city and here you can replace with state and then do the same thing for uh, country and pin code as well so copy both the call lg6 classes and here what you can do first add here country and then you can add pin code for the next state okay so these are the address informations attributes okay like city state country pin code now we need to uh, update the users profile title okay so we need to add the form field for that so you can and profile title field is a single field so we can use a single division there okay so you can just end this block 
okay and here you can remove the row class and you just need to use the simple form label and form field so we can just copy like this and replace the city with profile title for here for this place okay uh, let's uh, first indent it correctly okay now replace the city with the profile title okay and save the form here you can see that we just changed the form and model titles but we did not change the stimulus data attributes like data controller and data action okay here you can see that we are using the data action click bs model submit and and here you can see that we are using data controller attribute as bs model why because we will use our bs model stimulus controller here and we will reuse that bs model stimulus controller for everywhere there we want to uh, show the show anything in the bootstrap model okay so we just changed changed the form and we did not touch the stimulus data controller attributes okay now we need to work with stimulus part here again so let's create a new stimulus controller here to open the form for editing the user details in bs model so first we need to switch to the terminal and there we will generate a new stimulus controller just like we generated for the edit user description controller so we need to generate edit user details controller so switch to the terminal and here open the new tab and here what you can do rails g stimulus and edit user details okay and run this command and this will create a new stimulus controller for you okay so here you can see that this is the new stimulus controller for you and here you can replicate this uh, initialize method and show model method from the edit user description controller okay so just paste this after the connect method okay and here we can skip the any uh, writing the console.log statement into the connect method now you just need to change your controller name here that is edit user details so remove this description and add just details here okay and save this so whenever you mention edit sorry first make it yeah edit user details data controller on any dom element it will initialize a data action attribute or it will up add a data action attribute whenever your controller gets initialized on the dom element and it will add click edit user details show model on it just like we did for the edit user description model okay now come to the show template again and here we need to add link to open the form and bootstrap model but this link should be visible only to currently signed in users just like we did for editing the user description so let's do that so just to open the partial where we are displaying the personal information that is member personal details okay and into the card body we need to add the link okay and we can copy that link from the show.html erb so just copy this link and we need to reuse this link from the uh, within the card body of personal details okay so what you can do here uh, in the card body you can make it like this okay so we just need to keep it like if user is signed in and at the rate user equal equal to current user so first remove the at the rate sign okay so once this condition get true then only we will display a link to dis a uh, link to open the bootstrap model for editing the user's personal detail okay now you need to change the path and what the path we define here edit member personal details okay so just to use this path here uh, within the members personal details more uh, partial so we can just use it like uh, replace this edit member description and use edit member personal details path okay and here you can change your controller name as well that is edit user details okay so remove this description from the data controller attribute of stimulus and edit edit user details okay and save this and now we need to create a template for edit personal detail action to render this form into the bootstrap model okay so let's do that so create a template with our action name so what action name we choose into the member controller that is edit personal details okay so just to copy this method name and here into the members controller we need to create a template with turbo stream format okay so just save it paste it here edit personal details dot turbo stream dot erb okay and i hope you know why we are creating this template as a turbo stream request because now we added the data controller attribute to the link and now our link will be sent as the turbo stream format okay so that's why we need to create edit personal details template as 
turbo stream dot erb okay and now in this template we need to render our personal details information uh, personal info model partial okay so let's do that so just like in the description sorry just like for the edit description turbo stream what we did we just use turbo stream dot replace remote model and we rendered our description model partial so we can copy this snippet and we can use this snippet within the edit personal detail turbo stream dot trv okay and here what we can do edit personal info model uh, sorry render personal info model okay however i am just using these names because i provided these name if you want to provide different name then just to make sure to use the same name of the partial and template where you want to render it okay now save the file and make sure you save all the changes because now we gonna taste this form into the browser okay so save everything and now come to the browser okay so just come to the browser and refresh refresh this profile page okay and here you can see that we are seeing this uh, pencil icon or link to edit the user's detail and when you click on this link it will open the form for editing the user's personal information like first name last name city state country pin code and profile title into the bootstrap model okay so we are almost close to finish the feature because now we created a stimulus controller and we opened the form for editing personal details into the bootstrap model now we just have one thing to finish and that is implement the update action okay because now if you submit this form the request is still goes to the update personal details actions okay but nothing would happen because the action is empty i mean we did not implemented anything there okay here you can see in the members controller that this update personal detail action is empty we did not write anything here okay and so if you click on save changes now you will see this link on that uh, you will see you can see on the terminal where the server is running that the request is coming to the update personal details as turbo stream and we are getting the params as well but uh, nothing happens because the implementation need to be finished for the update action okay so come to the members controller and let's finish finish this implementation but before finishing the implementation what we need to do we first need to define a private method to permit the form params or to permit the submitted params okay so add private keyword here okay and inside this private what we need to do def then user personal detail params or personal info params okay and now in this method you need to permit the params that you want to save into the database so what we can do here params dot require and then user okay because here you can see that we are getting params into the hash name that is user okay and here we are getting first name last name city state country pin code profile title okay so let's add this permit these params okay so what you can do params dot require then user permit the params name here first name last name and then city state country uh, pin code and profile title okay save this and now we need to finish the update personal details actions implementation okay and we can replicate this solution here less like we did for the update description so copy everything okay and here we just need to change few things like uh, we need to uh, uh, we need to update the name of uh, dom element name where we want to replace our partial okay and we need to change our partial name here okay so in the show.html erb sorry uh, in the uh, member personal details erb what id we provided so we provided member personal details okay so just copy this and paste it into the turbo stream dot replace member personal details okay and now you need to change the partial name as well so member personal details so replace these uh, dashes by the underscore character okay now our update action implementation is done and save the file okay now we're gonna test this so we need to come to the browser and refresh our page okay so refresh the page and click on the pencil icon and here you will see the uh, form for editing the personal details okay now make some space into the terminal okay so make some space into the terminal and now let's try to update this attribute so let's put 
Ravi here and at the last name Ravi Singh and city let's say Indore India sorry MP and let's say India and I will not reveal my pin code <laughs> okay so I'm using the profile title as it is okay and if you wish you can change it as well let's say for example it's a senior angular developer and rails developer and now make some is okay we already make some space on the terminal now when you submit this form or when you click on the save changes button okay you will see that nothing happens okay so i made one mistake here you can see that uh, i it is still updating the about attribute okay that is uh, going as nil why because uh, i just uh, forget to call the user params into the update method okay so what we need to do we just need to call this user personal info params rather than this about params user about okay so just to save this and make sure you do not do this mistake okay so just call this method here okay and now try to save the form okay so refresh the page and because our uh, description is now nil because we changed it uh, we submitted an empty uh, nil uh, sorry we submitted an empty about params okay so now click on this and change the attributes now so let's make it ravi sing door and country sorry yeah let's make it mp and now click on the save changes okay here you will see the updated information of the uh, updated personal information of the user okay and now you can verify this on terminal as well that these are the parameters that are being updated okay and sorry for the uh, mistake that i forget to call this user personal info params here okay so now you can do it in the same way and that's it and you can verify at your own and that this is working only for currently signed in user you cannot edit other users details okay now in the next lecture we will work on refactoring the bootstrap model and stimulus controller i mean right now you can see that for update for rendering the form into the bootstrap model we created two different model partials okay so in the next lecture what we will see that how we can create only one model partial in our application and we will reuse that for everywhere where we need it okay meanwhile try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe